Hello everyone and welcome to episode 18 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. Just have a few items I want to talk about today. Uh, first up, I want to say congratulations to Eric Corp, who was our episode 17 winner. Uh, and it's been a while since we've had a, a vlog episode, so he's been hosting Link down in uh, Information Systems for about a month now. And they've been hosting him quite a bit. I think they've had him five times uh, so far, which is the most of any department on campus. So if you want to get your department in on the hosting action, um, stay tuned for Monday for the um, the episode 18 question. Uh, so for a chance to host Link in, in your department. Um, secondly, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, upcoming activities uh, for the CTC Link project. Uh, we're currently in uh, cycle five conversion, uh, data conversion. And um, we expect to have, uh, so right now they're converting data from legacy into the PeopleSoft environment. And then uh, towards the end of this month, around the 20th, uh, college staff should have access to that data uh, for validation purposes. And then we also have uh, user acceptance testing that's coming up pretty soon. Uh, at the end of June uh, is when that should start. And that's an opportunity for people to uh, take scripts that have been developed by the state team and go through aspects of the system and test and make sure that everything's working appropriately. Some of that testing will be negative testing, so they'll actually be trying to do things incorrectly and see if the system allows them to go through the whole process or if it pre presents the errors that it should present. <clears throat> and then finally, we have uh, training coming up. Uh, and that'll be coming up uh, in July, and it'll be going through August. Uh, real extensive uh, training sessions. Uh, in fact, um, HR, I think, has uh, close to 200 hours of training. Um, and Campus Solutions, they have um, over 200 hours of training. And um, Finance has around 300 hours of training. So it's a lot of, a lot of training that will be going on, um, a lot of time spent uh, in training, making sure that people are up to speed on the system uh, before we launch on the 25th of August. Uh, so those are activities that are that are coming up soon, very soon. Um, we're getting very close to our go live date. Um, and then finally, I just wanted to wanted to kind of uh, do a brief little demo of uh, the PeopleSoft gateway. And it's called a gateway because it's it's a way for us to it's a gateway for us to get to various aspects of the system or the different pillars within PeopleSoft. And so once you log into the system into the gateway, um, you'll be presented with a number of tiles depending on roles that you have maybe at different institutions. <clears throat> so for instance, um, I'm an employee at Tacoma Community College, but let's say I'm taking classes at Spokane Falls, then I'd be presented with those two tiles. <clears throat> and then basically you just click on a tile that you want based on what, what you want to do in the system and it'll take you into the system with that role. So I'm going to go into Tacoma Community College. Now I have um, a very generic role. This is kind of a mock-up site of the of the gateway. It's kind of a dev, dev site for this. And so I have access to all kinds of different things, but um, the menu that you see on the left would actually be limited to what your role is in the system. So if you're not a student, you wouldn't see the student center aspect. <clears throat> you would just see the tools that you need access to. Now at the top here, um, you'll see that uh, there are access to some of the major tools. So Hyperion, which is a budget building module, um, that's accessible at the top. OBIA, which is a reporting, one of the major reporting tools would be available. Uh, single sign-on into Canvas, the learning management system that the CTC system is using. And then the three pillars here, HR, Finance, and Campus Solutions. And then Tiles will take you back to that main page where you could select institution and depending on what role you're in to, to access the system. And then some basic stuff like changing password, going to the home page, etc. And then on the left hand side um, are several menu items. And depending on your role, you'll see different ones here. But if I was a student, I could access the Student Center. Um, if I'm an instructor, I can access the Faculty Center and so forth. Uh, you'll be able to edit your personal information via this link. Um, and then also there'll be uh, ways for the colleges to push news items out. So like kind of main events they could push out uh, with this top banner and then there'll be news modules that they can send, that people can push information out to college faculty, staff, and students. And then there's also a reporting module, um, and it, this is a place where you can send reports that you use often so that when you lo first log into the system, you can access those right away. And there'll be other um, pieces to this as we progress through the project, uh, e through even the other waves, waves one, two, and three. Uh, but this is kind of the general mock-up that we have at this point. Um, and I just wanted to kind of showcase it and let folks know uh, what that might look like or what it might look like when they first log into the system. 
Well, that's all I have for uh, today. I hope everybody has a great weekend and uh, we'll see you next time.